Hello everybody and welcome to another Adobe Live here on St. David's Day, the 1st of March. Welcome everybody. Hey Rachel, how are you doing? Hi, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I am so good and I'm so glad that you are back today because I've loved the streams that you've done before with Fresco and the animations that you've done and we have another great one planned for today, right? Yes, I'm going to be doing an animate, well, animation in fresco so i'm going to be drawing the frames in fresco um and then pulling it across to photoshop where we can get the animation actually going but i'm basing it today on international women's day which is next week so we're gonna i was gonna do a, a woman very strong woman uh -huh. with, um superhero cape flying behind her um, nice I love the sound of that. I love it. I love it. And we've got everyone in the chat today. Um, hi to Kirsty. Hi to Gareth. I can see Jackie, Sandrine, Catherine. Um, it's really good to see everybody in the chat again. And please, if you have any questions for Rachel today and you want to get involved in the chat, um, get in touch. Uh, we're on Behance. So behance.net forward slash live. Um, and let us know anything that you've got going on. Um, for me in, in Wales, it's St. David's Day. So following this stream, I'm going to be drawing some dragons as part of the homeschooling for my kids. So I'm really all in fresco today. I'm completely all in. <laughs> <laughs> you your kids using fresco as well. Oh, completely. Yeah. Their favourite thing is actually to draw over photos of themselves and give them new themselves new hair and like neon <laughs> makeup, which is quite cool. I'm that like, is it's, awesome. it's really clever. Um, yeah, so it, it, it's nice. And actually, you've got a question straight away from Jackie here, Rachel, saying, how's mummyhood going? Yeah, great. It's the yeah. first dream back since since I had the baby. Um, yeah. It feels a bit weird still. She's six weeks old. It was on Friday. Wow. Um, but it's all a bit nuts, I think. As you yeah. describe it, it's all 100 miles an hour gone from yes. having a nice chilled life. <laughs> I know it is crazy and actually Rachel and I were talking um, in the pre-call just before we went live about um, baby brain and how it does mess with your mind and we're sharing some funny stories today um, but yeah so um, definitely any tips or anything that you can give I mean I'm sure I've still got it and mine are well Chloe's nearly eight <laughs> this month so you know it doesn't really leave you I think oh, great <laughs> Yes. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so let's get started. I've actually got my uh, my iPad here and I've got Fresco open because every time you've done a stream, I've always thought, oh, I really want to do that. And I've watched the streams back and I've never dedicated enough time to actually learn because it's such a good like process with the animating it and seeing it all. Oh, I just love it. So I'm going to kind of draw along with you today. That's cool. um, so I... I'm doing it from scratch because I think it's quite fun that then people can join along. I've had a couple. Yeah. The last animation one I did frame by frame, so quite a few people have kind of done the frames as, as they've gone along the stream as well. And it's nice learning, isn't it? But yeah. I like doing it. <laughs> and it's so therapeutic though, Frisco, especially. Yeah. I, mean, I, I love to have a draw on the weekends and uh, it's nice. We're starting off on Monday. I can see yeah. Oliver's putting Welsh there. Lovely bit of Welsh you've got going on there, Oliver. I couldn't even print. I know it's Dewey Happis. <laughs> I can't. I mean, I, I've lived for 14 years. I can't speak Welsh. <laughs> but yeah. Exactly. And in the UK, of course, we have to. I mean, it's such a British thing to do. We have to talk about the weather. How nice was the weekend? Great. I'm so happy. It just makes you so much happier, doesn't it? I know. So nice. I actually got sunburned a little, <laughs> a little so British. Not prepared with sunscreen oh, on a weekend no. in February. What um, do you think about that? I get so sunburned and I'm surprised I didn't actually. <laughs> <laughs> Awful normally. Oh, uh, no, it is. Great. I've got my little stick figure. 
make sure I do. So a little tip, the shoulders. Yeah. Um, you know, when people draw stick figures, normally they'll do it with, and yeah. then have their arms coming out here or yeah. you know, having hips. But when I draw them, I like to have, so like you've got the hips and then you get the legs in the right place. And That's the same with the point. shoulders. Um, yeah. And then I just use that as a basis to draw from. Um, so I'm gonna get, haven't organized my colors, which I normally do. Oh dear, there's a brain, baby brain. That's <laughs> what <laughs> I said. Last night I plugged in my um, iPad, like, great, I'm gonna be prepared. Plugged in my iPad, came here about half 11, and then I realized it wasn't actually plugged in to the plug. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I was, I was saying in the in the pre-call as we were getting ready, nothing I mean, is worse than me shouting at my husband for, I was accusing him of moving the shelves in the fridge um, because I couldn't fit the kettle in the fridge. <laughs> and it wasn't until I looked at it that I was like, oh. So silly. It's just oh. in there. <laughs> in, I just, you don't know where your brain goes to sometimes. <laughs> I know. I but, know. Yeah, nice. I'm just going to do the background and colour they like working on it. Ah, I might do a live one actually. Like a nice watercolour background. Nice. Are you doing that on another layer? Um no. another layer for that. Oh yeah I am. Good. <laughs> Thank oh yeah. <laughs> no, it's all good. Oh, it's going well. I'm copying you see. So this is why I'm checking because I'm thinking yeah. why well, I need to copy you. Oh, the nice colour you've got going on there. So yeah. um, have you been doing much drawing then since uh a little well, rival. I haven't for like personal stuff, but I had a couple of jobs come in. I was like, well, I can't say no to that, and then I can't say no to that. <laughs> so yeah, I have been doing work, which is a bit silly, but well, no, but it's not. I think I'd say with drawing though. I mean, you're going to be sat down a lot, having yeah, lots of cuddles, and so you can easily sit there and have a draw. And... Yeah, exactly. And yeah. when it's like I say, this my husband does it. He's a videographer. But, cinematographer and tell me off saying video but, but if I we both really love our jobs so it's quite hard to just sit back and not um That's just love it. it yeah, yeah. good so he's been working a bit as well oh that's good and you've done a, a couple of these with Fresco um, animating pictures. I think you did one with a lady that I saw yeah. um, in the winter with a big jumper. And then there was another one with a coffee cup, right? That was yes. another one that you did. It was yeah, a coffee cup one. Yeah. It's a bit more simple, which is why I managed to get it done in an hour. So I'm <laughs> hoping that I get this one done. Um, I'm just drawing the cape first, actually, by the way, if anyone's drawing along. Um, and then I'll animate this afterwards. So this is a strong lady cape. Um, yeah, and then I, so I drew those kind of frame by frame, but well, one of them frame by frame, the other with After Effects. Um, oh, yeah. I the, I think the frame, I prefer doing these frame by frame. So just give quite like a cartoony feel. Mm. Oh, look at this, not colouring in the lines. And what's your go-to brush for doing this then? Are you in sketching? Are you using a uh, pencil? Or? Yeah, I always use pencil. I don't know why. Just, oh, I just really love the pencils. <laughs> um, and I usually would um, rub out arrays with the same colour brush by using a little, whatever. I, can't, I don't know what it's called. Any idea? Um, I, I I just keep calling it the widget, but I don't widget. know. It's a good one. <laughs> I but don't know if Tim knows. If, yeah, if he will, if you double click on it, um, it brings that up. I think that's yeah, a razor, and then you can toggle between um, pens or whatever you're using, and then the opposite, so it just rubs out with the same pen. Yeah, Tim says it's the touch shortcut. Ooh. Thanks for that, Tim. And I think Oliver was asking me whether you're going to see what I'm working on. And you would normally need sunglasses, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be showing, although I'll just hold mine up to the camera so you can see if you really want to. I'm just really copying Rachel, really, uh, just to learn. I want to 
make sure that I'm doing it right. So I'll do that. And um, I think Stuart asked me, uh, did my Converse make it through the weekend after Elvis? Um, yeah, I think I need to buy some new laces. This dog of mine. Oh, no. It's just, I, I, honestly, Converse. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Maybe because I leave them out and I need to put them away. Yeah. My fault. But uh, every, they need Converse. Quiet, they're just, not new. Just your Converse's, no other shoes. No, so the kids' shoes are there. <laughs> Only mine. And honestly, so. Quite like the smell of you or something. Many. Sweet. Menace. Oh, we've got a uh, Tony's joined. Hey, Tony. Hi, Tony. It's good to see lots of people. Do oh, here we are. Yeah, I've lost many a pairs of shoes to my dogs. Well, one <laughs> dog. One of the two. <laughs> yeah. She's a little menace. They are, aren't they? I keep having to be really careful with like dummies and stuff because I know she'll get them. <laughs> oh yeah, dummies. Yeah. Have gone. So. <laughs> uh, I bought. No. I was being all like first mum, fancy, expensive stuff. So I was like, you go near those, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> yeah. I'm just with. And Rachel, I've got a question for you. So yeah. colouring that cape in, I've noticed you've coloured it all in completely. Yeah. And you didn't use, um, you know, like the, the block fill to, to, to fill it completely. Yeah. Is that because you prefer the, you know, to colour yeah. it all in? Yeah, I really, I prefer the texture of it when it's yeah. um, like this. And you'll see actually, because there's a way of doing it in in After Effects where you can make a mat and um, I've used that before and it looks really nice. Mm. Um, where you can colour it in and it, it's a mat so you can flick between like a couple of different textures and that looks really nice. But when you do it frame by frame, if you just do it like this, then it's all quite um, yeah. natural. Um, yeah. But... I was just, I, I looked at the time, 10 past, and I was like, should I fill that in? I probably should, because I we don't, we might not have enough time to finish, but we no, should be. Don't worry. We're going, we're going good here. We're going yeah, to get it done. I was like, I'm going to get it. will be fine. I'll be able to do and, this in an hour. <laughs> and what size, um, what size canvas did you start with here, Rachel? Were Seven. you? Yeah, I went 2,100 by 2100 um pixels but you got it i do i guess you could do it 1080p or i just like doing it a bit bigger because you get yeah. keep some of the um contrast or contrast. detail See, yeah one. <laughs> <laughs> right. what I, I was gonna hmm. right uh, lots of chat here today Okay. Um, about trainers, people are letting me know. Uh, Non-chewable trainers. Yeah, I know. I think people are saying it's because of the the rubber that, that there's a lot of rubber on oh. um, Converse. Well, mine like I've got New Balance trainers. They get they've gone. I've oh, got no. two pairs of them. <laughs> no, I think it's just the dogs. <laughs> I know. They're just like that, aren't they? So just, the key to the animation part then is, is getting all of these in different layers. And I remember on a previous stream, you named all of the layers. Yeah, I do. This is for when we go over to the Photoshop bit. It's yeah. just so I know where everything is, because otherwise it just can... When, if you've got 20 layers, then you're like, oh, layer 10? What was that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I say, that's the top, then I know what it is. Okay. <laughs> I might start filling these in, actually. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to have enough time to finish it otherwise. Right. I love the palette of colours that you've got, though. They're really soft and um, yeah. they, they really go well together. I, you've prepared all of those before. They're all kind of your... Well, yeah, they're colours that I, I normally use. Um, so I kind of vary within the same colour scheme, which is not the most creative, but it gives... I, I remember talking to someone early in my career who was like if you keep within a colour scheme across your work then it gives you it adds to the that's your style yeah so it helps a lot to um yeah keep okay that doesn't look great <laughs> I've just filled it right. 
I love the colour palette you had. Um, you did a great pattern at around Christmas time. There were people with scarves and hats and they were like um, ice skating or something. Yeah, they were all doing different wow. things. It looked lovely. I love oh, that. Thank you. That's, like, really nice. that's one of my favourites mm -hmm. <laughs> that I've done recently. Um, they, that was, I think it was a similar colour palette to this. Yeah. So I've got like the, just swatches that I generally stick to and then I'll kind of go off yeah. on a, tangent sometimes <laughs> quite a bit <laughs> tangent but um how it, good. it makes it a lot easier as well you don't have to think about it <laughs> i think oh what color is going to go with this i just know that they'll always go together because they're the ones i use yeah i did have someone a client come to me and say you know do you have a problem using different like with using our brand colors or with other colors and i was like no <laughs> Because <laughs> I use the My same. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I, as everyone knows in the chat, I, I like a lot of colour. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sometimes so. I, I wish I could do it as well. So I see people's work and that's really colourful and I'm like, oh, I love that. I'd love to mm. be able to do it. I just can't get my head around it. Right, we've got a body. That looks good. I don't know what colour to do the legs. Nice. Yeah, so International Women's Day is next week, isn't it? Yeah. And so, yeah, I've seen a lot of um, artwork and things like that on Instagram already, actually. Yeah, I have as well. I do. I was, uh, the, the reason I, <laughs> it's really bad. The reason I do it was because I had a job that I've, been working on for mm. International Women's Day. Um, I think otherwise it would have passed me by this year, but that's because of. <laughs> oh yeah, you've got a lot going on. <laughs> yeah, no, don't worry at all. No clue. Um, but it's nice. It's nice to celebrate. I like a lot of. I was looking at some um, images on Pinterest as well, and there's a lot of like women supporting women, and I really love that. Mm. That's good. The idea and there's loads of illustrators and stuff like that on Instagram where everyone's really supportive of each other and yeah I'm all for that. Mm. Stuart asks um are you finding enough time to draw and finding that balance and he's put 4 a.m sessions? <laughs> I'm feeling her. She was, <laughs> was up at 4 a.m this morning. <laughs> oh my goodness. No that's I think that's quite normal. I it is. I haven't done any like purse actually except for a thank you card <laughs> for everyone. I haven't done any personal work really. Um because I haven't had time. Actually yeah. I haven't made time. I probably could have done while she's fast asleep on me or something. It's hard though, because the, I know that they always say that you're meant to sleep when babies sleep, but oh. that's always impossible because there's always so yeah. much to do. Yeah, and they don't always sleep on their own so she's only just started us being able to like put her down for a nap mm. but before that it was all on me <laughs> just lovely yeah quite nice and Sandrine makes a good point in the chat that you're drawing on an iPad which is much easier than drawing on a PC <laughs> or a computer yeah that's true so yeah completely agree oh you're going what color are you doing there green is that a greeny color green, uh, it's like a bluey Oh, zoom in. oh, I like it. I see. I could really, I just realise how wobbly these lines are. Let's add some smoothing. <laughs> oh, you're good. Tony says, congratulations, by the way. Thank you. So Gareth's um, starting a potential debate here with that uh, it would be easier to draw on a Mac, I'm sure. No. <laughs> what, a Mac? No, I don't think so. I don't know. I've always been PC, so I've never. Oh, I oh okay. You mean Mac, Mac over PC? Because uh, you can do a sidecar thing with them, um, an iPad now, and use it as a second hmm. kind of screen. So you can. I haven't tried it. <laughs> Actually, I should I should try it before I say you can do it. 
I know you can. <laughs> um, where it mirrors your screen and you can draw like That's this kind cool. of thing in Photoshop. So I could have done that. Fresco's what I know. Yeah, I love Fresco. Yeah, we do. I absolutely do. I was, I was sketching on the weekend and um, I showed you before we went live today. I'm doing this picture of my kids on a wing of an aeroplane. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll share that later, actually. Let's finish now. Not too bright. Anyone that's wondering whether anything else <laughs> It wasn't. It's not too bad, is it? No. <laughs> <laughs> bright is great. Can't knock it. Then, my picture's looking a lot brighter than yours is at the moment. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's cool. I think people always go for like the same level of mutedness. <laughs> Yeah, in the, yeah. the colour palette. So mine's always like around here, mm -hmm. this kind of area, and it doesn't really venture to the the bright that often. Yeah, see, mine always tends to be in the middle, actually. Okay. So I'm always, yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't tend to notice that. Who, who else is drawing along with us today, by the way? Pop, pop it in the chat and let us know if you're also kind of uh, drawing as we go. Gonna put some heels on it. Oh yes, heels. Good call. How high up should the trousers go, by the way? Well, like you joined it to the top. I so I've done it more of like a high waisted, not high waisted because her crotch is quite high. I think that's what's quite cool about illustration that it looks quite normal even though it isn't right. <laughs> but it works totally yeah. works. So I, I was going for like a um, shorter top, like a, uh -huh. I don't know what it's called anymore, um, and then jeans because nobody has time for anything else really. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Jackie's drawing along with us today. Uh, I think, um, let me just see, Catherine is also giving it a go. Tony's drawing raccoons and clowns. Cool. Do you remember the um, old show that used to be on the TV? It was a cartoon called The Raccoons. No. It had the best theme music ever. <laughs> so any kid's show, The Raccoons was like the one that you wanted to sing along to at the start. Yeah. It was um, pretty good. Now I'm saying this, it's going to be in my head all day. And no, I'm not going to sing it on the stream right now. <laughs> but, um, Please do. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly. Oh, yeah, Stuart says, I remember that. It was great. Oh. Yes. Oh, and Tony says it's coming back. What, the raccoons? Ollie remembers the raccoons as well, Oliver. Yes. Yeah. See? This is a good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when was this? Oh, um, probably late 80s. Yeah. Maybe early 90s. Oh, no, probably not 90s. It was 90s. Oh. I'm drawing some very questionable boots here. <laughs> oh, did my screen stop sharing? I think so. How was that? It did this last time. Sorry, everyone. Let's get that back. Oh, don't worry. So we're drawing a separate set at the moment. We're working on a separate layer for shoes. Yeah. Or boots. Yeah, and nice. I'm, yeah. I'm moving on to face. Um, and then I'm going to go, I might need to do this kind of in a bit more of a messy, <laughs> make no. sure we've got enough time. Yeah, well we're 24 minutes past now, we've still got lots of time. Yeah. You can actually, time. so I, if you see on, you know on Instagram you can, all the giffy gifs, uh -huh. they're yeah. only a couple of frames so um, I think we could do something more like that. Um, and then I've actually got a Giphy account, so I can upload this to there. And you can use it on Instagram, which I think is really cool. Oh, that's cool. So I might hey, um, quick question for you, Rachel. Did you do the hands and the face on the same layer, or did you do yes. the same layer? Uh -huh. Because I'm not going to animate them. Uh huh. So okay. The What I was going to animate is the cloak and her hair. 
so like they're moving in the wind and actually i was thinking about animating her arm so that would i like the idea of the cape moving though that's a that's a lovely idea yeah i like that I was thinking her arms could come up like she's a superhero like sure nice like a, like um assemble well they what do yeah. they say in those movies marvel movies like <laughs> exactly you know what i mean i sound so uncool yeah. right now. my kids are listening that's it avengers <laughs> <laughs> that'll yeah. be my kids would be face yeah. farming right now <laughs> i'm gonna move them to another layer you have and you draw typically in um pixel brushes right not vector yeah most of the time i have i did yeah. um I used Illustrator to, sorry, sorry, concentrating. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, a couple of weeks ago for a job, and that was using vector brushes. I found it really hard because I'm used to just drawing like this, but it comes out yeah. really nicely in the end. It's all a lot smoother than... It does. It's, def it's definitely a lot smoother, but I, I, yeah, I know what you mean. I prefer drawing in pixel brushes until I start zooming in and seeing all the pixels. Yeah. Exactly. Like, oh no. Why you, do you don't want to do that. <laughs> Just don't <laughs> do this is, I'm going to say, left. When you select a colour, Rachel, um, do you, uh, you know, use the colour wheel or then do you actually go down further and edit the hue and the saturation and the brightness or do you just go with the colour wheel? I just go with the colour wheel. Mm. I think. That's good. Sometimes I think I just did that actually when I so that's a lie. <laughs> I'll pick a normal so I pick the um like the bottom brown colour here, which is kind of a skin tone, but not really. And I wanted it to be a bit more saturated, so I moved the um saturation that way. So it depends really. I think if I'm just thinking, oh that needs to be more saturated, then I'll make it like that. Um Saturate it with the. Mm. Does it just help? Yeah. I think so. I don't know what it's called? Saturation. <laughs> Sorry, it's only because Max goes on about it sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But just right. Okay. I haven't done a neck actually. I need you just reminded me now. Had a look. A little neck. To do a neck. I'm gonna make her have curly hair. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> um, this is good. My mum's got a hair like this. <laughs> cute. She has a little um, afro. Say little. I never little. Right. Keeping this quite simple so that it can be animated. Um, that looks so good. Well, this is not up to scratch. Right. <laughs> what are you not happy with? It looks to me. I mean, I, I think it looks great. All of it. No. <laughs> I kind of shape. This is, I think you go through these periods though, don't you? When you're drawing. I don't know if anyone else feels the same go through there oh no this looks awful <laughs> i do all the time yeah i do yeah no, I, we did an adobe calendar um at the start of the year and i drew in fresco a couple of different ideas i was drawing them and none of them seemed right and you know when you and if i look back at it now i think oh actually that's not that bad but at the time i was like no nope. yeah that's <laughs> I get okay. it. And then you get to the end and you're like, oh, actually. I know, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. look as bad as I thought it did. Yeah. I'm going to add some detail to this and that might make a difference. Um, with a clipping mask. I'm going to put something on the top. If anyone has any ideas what to, what to put on the top, that would be great. <laughs> Cause I on know, the top of the hair? Well, on, on her T-shirt. I know everyone... When I've been on these before, people have got these like amazing ideas of what you can draw. Oh like, yeah. Or colours or Catherine says a bow. A bow. Very feminine. That's true. Oh, no. that's nice. 
I like that. Oh, Gareth says a raccoon. <laughs> well, wow. the easiest thing. <laughs> Come on. Sandrine says striped. Yeah, I was literally just about to do striped. <laughs> Thinking I've got a top very much like this. So. Isn't it, uh, is it called Breton stripes? Yeah. Is that what it's called? No, I think so. I find it easier to go on the side like this. Right. Oh, I might do um, check actually. Tony's now like whack a raccoon in there, Rachel. <laughs> we'll have one down here. <laughs> yeah. I watched the um, so the great. Have you been watching the Great Pottery Throwdown? And there was a guy that made a raccoon last week. Maybe that's where it's called. No, oh, I need to. I've got that on record actually. Right. That you know, and interior design masters. I've got yeah. both of those on the go at the moment. Yeah, they're really good at the moment, aren't they? Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Gareth's saying raccoon. Do you know, it would be good um, to, get, to draw the raccoon in the back, get them hit by the animated cape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, brilliant. But that looks good. What you've already got there, that's lovely. Keep that. That's right. great. Just adding a little bit of detail because sometimes it makes a difference. Mm. <laughs> Not always. Um, well, I'm regretting going for blonde hair with mine. Mine's looking, it's getting, it's getting more colourful <laughs> as, <laughs> like that. as it goes on. It's Very just getting nice. more, I might try and see. Well, I just thought, I thought earlier, I'm going to do a belt and then I forgot. <sighs> right. Oh, a belt. Good do a belt. Mm -hmm. What layer am I on? Oh, I'm just on that layer. Oh, dear. If I was going to do a different colour, I'd normally do a different layer, but we don't have time. That'll do. Oh, some pockets. Nice. There's a bit of chat um, going on about another stream on Fresco, looking at, was it Vector Brushes, I think it was? Vector Brushes, yes. Cool. Yeah, that would be good. We love Fresco. Um, mm -hmm. All four streams on Fresco, totally, all for it. Right. I'm going to group these all together now. So I don't think we're going to have time to do the lady moving her arms, unfortunately. No, I think even just the cape would be great. Yeah. So I've got, so I've bunched up all the groups, <laughs> bunched up. Oh, it's affecting my brain, isn't it? <laughs> I grouped up all of the these bits, so all of the bits I'm not going to animate. <laughs> Good. Yep, I'm with you. All right, so all we need to do is keep the cape out, right? So I'm going to yeah, do this. Keep thing. the cape out. I'm also keeping the hair out because I was thinking that would fly in there. Nice. Um, yeah. In the wind as well. I'm not. I think I'm not sure about the background right now. <sighs> this happens a lot. <laughs> <laughs> My um, background. I think it goes. No, it's it's lovely. I love the colours that you pick, though. You always do a really great job at colour palettes, and honestly, really good. I feel like it. All the time. No, it's good. Right, I so. I've grouped mine separately. There we are. Cool. So, to do the animation, what I'd normally do is chuck a. I make my own onion skin. So, that's just a white pixel layer that I've filled. Um, and then I'll drop the opacity down, which an onion skin just allows you to see like the um, previous frame. For, uh huh. So, sense. how do you see that? Can you do that again? Just so yeah. everyone's got it. Uh huh. I'll delete this. So, I've, I'll create a new layer above the um, cape that I want to animate. And then yeah. I'm going to fill in that layer with a pixel. It doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> or or vector. Um, <laughs> and then drop the opacity. And it just means if I do another layer on top of that with the same colour, oh, I don't want to fill that. I can. You can see that you can draw over the top of it, um, and you can see the layer behind it. Um, yeah. So then I'm just right. draw over the top. If I can actually hide that. For now, I think I'm going to hide it so I can just draw like a where the swoosh would be if this was moving. 
Uh huh. Um, should I just guess a lot of the time <laughs> and then hope for the best? <laughs> <laughs> so you can. Always, I always make changes afterwards. Yeah, but it's it's good to get started, isn't it? Kirsty says that looks epic. <laughs> it does. It is coming together. I've, um, here we go. I'm adding. Right. Oh, what have I done here? Not quite sure really what I've done, but either way, it's kind of working for me. That's good. Kind of. <laughs> Loosely based on. <laughs> Kind of gets me off, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I think a lot of the time I'm like, I was like, oh, it just looks awful. And then I send it to a client and then I'm like, they love it. So, oh, great. Amazing. <laughs> I wasn't happy, but it's quite nice. Mm. Everyone's very critical of their own work, aren't they? Oh, totally. Yeah. But yeah. I've made the... Um, pencil a bit bigger for the next layer because just to save time but normally I'd go through and do it with the same size brush. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of brushes Sandrine asks do you find yourself using the same brushes in the end because there are lots of brushes. Yeah most of the time I do. I do have some favourites though so um, I use this noise one a lot like just to add some texture and I use it as a clipping mask over the top of layers and then normally I'll show you quickly actually do that clipping mask it make this black and then I change my blend mode to overlay and it just adds like a and so in I'll show you what this does if it's not an overlay it'll just be black so, oh, you see, if I do it like that, it's just a, bleh. <laughs> I see what you're doing though, it adds that texture to it though. Yeah, it? it adds texture and also a bit of a, um, a similar colour, just a bit more saturated version of the same colour. Nice. So I use that one quite a bit. Um, when, I'm, when you do stuff like this that's quick, you don't get to use all of your nice brushes. Mm -hmm. Um, but most of the time I use this pencil. This gouache one's nice as well, because I think it feels, <laughs> I don't want it to be black. It feels stuff in a bit better. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which is one of Kyle's ones. Mm, let's go back to the pencil. Cool. But yes, it varies. Sometimes mm. I just forget that other brushes exist. <laughs> Yeah, because you go with what you know and you just stick the ones that you're used to. Yeah, I'm with you on that. Then I'm like, use this, use this. I don't draw in enough in charcoal. No. Like when they brought that out and I was like, at first I started playing with it. And I was like, oh, I love this. Yeah. But then I found that as I was doing more drawings, I was just going back to pencil sketching. Just yeah. Sketching. That's what I do as well. I think it's the same. Even if you were doing stuff, you know, not digitally, not digitally traditionally mm. that was a hard thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. um yeah i think even then you'd you stick to what you know anyway don't you mm -hmm. so i've just pulled my onion skin over the top and i'm going to hide the first layer first frame what would be the first frame mm -hmm. um so i've hidden that got my next layer that I've just drawn, got the onion skin on top and then I'm going to the next layer and it's just another, um, oh, I'm gonna make that smaller again. Just for the outline, make it a bit smaller. Um, I might make this a lot, so three, three is probably enough. Yeah, and we don't have that. That would be good. And then Stuart asks, are you finding that you're drawing all the time now that you have the iPad? I've only ever drawn on iPad, so I didn't say it's any different. <laughs> um, I say only, I've, I've done, obviously I've worked on Photoshop, but when I, since I've 
been an illustrator i've only ever used my ipad mm. um so no <laughs> i should i wish i had more time to do it it's time isn't it, it always is it's time yeah cool other stuff I can, to do. I can imagine your work you know rachel to be um you know, like, uh, especially with the colour schemes that you've got, um, like nursery room wallpaper, <laughs> with that kind of gentle pattern. Do you ever look at yeah. things like that and think, oh, I could do that? Yeah, I do wish I could. I did. I saved this, actually. This is some wrapping paper. Oh, no. I nice. wrap stuff in. I really love all the little animals now. I was so against it before I had a baby, and now I'm like, they're so cute. <laughs> yeah. I think your perspective changes a bit. Hmm. Like, I, n I never used to like kids that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got my own. I'm like, oh, I should probably get into the... Yeah. Liking that stuff. I was trying to find... I, I painted these before she was born. Oh, which I nice. Which I yet to put up on her wall. But I quite like drawing little animals and stuff. Yeah, they look good. Yeah, oh, my, my favourite. That's great. Get them yeah. on the walls, definitely. Yeah. And Gareth, um, Gareth wants to know how much of your work goes to print and how much goes to digital. Um, it varies. I think it's about fifty-fifty. So most, a lot of the work I do is um, for editorial clients. Most of it is editorial, actually. Mm -hmm. So probably more than fifty percent. Um, but then I've also been doing stuff for like a digital campaign recently so it really it de depends changes mm -hmm. um just on what the work is <laughs> I'm not yeah say. depends what you're asked yeah exactly um I think a lot of people are doing you know animation and uh more digital stuff at the moment than print mm -hmm. um in place so I, I worked on some illustrations before you know at, in like December um that were were animated by someone else and i think that's quite that's becoming more common mm. now people can't film as much as well yeah oh karina says that looks fab <laughs> right i'm gonna do those three so we've got And Gareth asked the question around uh, CMYK because um, yeah. Fresca doesn't um, do CMYK, just um, RGB. And you can send it straight to Illustrator. So I imagine that that's how you would have to. Yeah, and, yeah Photoshop. So but you needed to send it to Photoshop and then you can convert yeah. the colors. Yeah. There. It's not always perfect, but. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've just. I don't really like this little flick here, so I'm gonna get rid of that. So I've got my three um, wafty bits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounded very silly. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're with you though, totally with three you. Three wafty bits, great. <laughs> oh dear. Hello. Right, and then I'm gonna try and do that. Try, I'm gonna do the hair as well. Oh, we don't want that in the group. So I'm doing the same. I'm using the same um, onion skin layer as I used before. Mm -hmm. Let me turn that off actually because I need to pick up this colour because I haven't saved it. Silly. Oh no, I would have done. And how's this going for everyone in the chat that's drawing along? Are you following? Are you still drawing along with us? And then um, the chat will continue on Discord following the stream, by the way. So if anybody does finish these, get them in Discord. Let's share some. I should probably share mine too. Yeah, you have to get prepared with sunglasses. This line's getting brighter by the second. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine right. missed the grouping bit just then. Um, Why did, wait, I so what did you accident. group? It was an accident. Oh. Yeah. I accidentally grouped the... Um, I just hold... Because if you pull this over the top of another layer, it will group it. Uh -huh. I just did it accidentally. But it's useful to do it like that. <laughs> So I'm just going to move the hair a little bit so it looks like it's moving. Oh, I grouped the hair with the body and everything before, but actually I'm going to bring that out now. Yeah. Ungroup. There we go. This is quite nice because the hair doesn't take as long as the cape. No. 
time on the top 15 minutes. Oh, right, we can do this. Time has flown by. Yeah, it has. This is quite doing um, like three layers like this, three um, frames like this is quite handy for creating GIFs and things like that. If anyone likes doing that. And sometimes if you're drawing like text and you want to animate the text, you can just go over the same text like three times and it looks slightly different and then it goes all wiggly and it looks really cool. So that's another tip. I, I use that a lot. Oh, we should look at that. We should do that on another stream one day, doing words. And... Yeah. 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 Nice. Right. I know that Jasmine Sarah, who was um, on some of our Femtac streams last year, she's doing loads of giffy things down there. Amazing. Yeah, they're mm. so fun as well. They're like, quite easy to do. Because mm. there are only three frames, or well, three or four. Um, yeah. And yeah, right. I think we're good. So now... I'm going to pull this over. Let's turn the unicorn. on. It looks so good. That's it. Hopefully it comes out nicely. Right. I've got you all on. I'm going to delete this sketchy layer. Um, okay. I can move over to Photoshop now. So I'm going to have to share my screen. Cool. <laughs> I'm going to stop this sharing and I'm going to share my desktop. So while you're doing that, let's just um, have a quick look at the schedule for this week um, on Adobe Live. So we've got um, some fun streams. I mean, we've had, last week was amazing to follow Tony and Tim and their amazing parody uh, that they did in the Masterclass on Wednesday. Honestly, it's gonna be a tough act to follow. But um, this week, we've got some great streams lined up. And I think if we are showing that on screen now, I can't see it, but I don't know if you can see it. Um, but we've got a Masterclass on Wednesday uh, with Tony and I. We're going to try some Photoshop tennis. Um, and then on Friday, we've got another great stream with Natalie as well. So um, yeah, tune in all week. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fun. For sure. So, yeah, same time. In behind. Here we are. All right, Rachel, yeah. you've opened up Photoshop now. Well, yes, but it's not coming up. <laughs> oh, no. One second. Let me just quit Photoshop. I, I had it open already. So, well, while you're doing that, don't worry. Tony's given some great tips in the chat about exporting things through PDFX. I, I export as PDF actually quite often. With what I do, but not PDF X. That's um, that's interesting. That is cool. That's good. And Tony says, look at versions of the standard after X one. Yeah, and of course with raccoons. <laughs> Thanks, <Tony. laughs> This is the magic of the cloud documents. Ah, there you go. Are you ready? Here we go. We're here. Right. <sighs> okay, so this is the magic of the cloud. I love it. So I've literally just come out of the fresco page. These, mm -hmm. I think, these are my thank you cards. <laughs> the baby, um, and it's here, so that's great. I haven't named my layers, which is silly of me, but it's all group. So we had this group before. I've still got my um, hair layers on top, and the background and then the three layers for the cape mm -hmm. so i've already got the timeline up here but it's just a window so it's just a timeline here if anyone doesn't have it um okay. and then we create video timeline um it can come up like this or it'll come up um as a little box here i find it easier to work like this because then I can turn the layers off and on when I want to and I know I want to keep this on the whole time so I'm going to leave that there the whole time um, I've got the pixel layer I can delete the background I can add an audio track pretty cool if we wanted to um, <laughs> show any um, this one is I'm going to actually let I will change this just to be uh, where is he? Oh my gosh. 
what you're looking for. Ming. Change the name. Yeah, I've Ming. lost lost my brain again. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> It's different as well in different, um, like, after effects. Frame to hair. This is just so I don't lose track, like I said earlier. Otherwise, I... Yeah. And if you're using Fresco, you can rename this in the layer properties on the right. And normally it just says pixel layer or whatever, and you can just go in and, and change the name in Fresco before. Yeah, exactly. If you're doing it that way. That's great. Oh, I deleted all the things I didn't need. Um, obviously, the, oh, I could have just left the background in there, can not I? But oh well, I quite like the. Um, I like that. <laughs> yeah, it, that's added a whole new effect. I like it. Yeah, maybe we should try to keep it. <laughs> all right. So my timeline is five frames, which is great. You can change it. I think. Um. And also, I was looking at doing this yesterday. So you can actually make frame, make clips from the frames that you've created. So if I do it like this, so for these three, um, I just can't get it to work. So maybe <laughs> properly. Um, Tim, well. And how many frames did you normally do? You think three is the go-to number? Is that magic number? For a GIF, yeah. So. Uh -huh. um, but if you're doing a proper animation, it can be any, can't So you can, it can go, um, thousands, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I think the one, I did a coffee cup, like, um, last time. Yeah. I think that was about 15 frames. Mm. Um, but it also depends on, like, how much detail, you, you know, the speed of the clip and, yeah. um, when you're doing movement, like, how, quickly you want to go from one thing to another or just be one two frames which is quite nice yeah you want it to slow down it needs to be more frames mm -hmm. um yeah well that's actually this has actually worked but that's too slow i'm gonna do the same to these so i was, just, I was doing this yesterday and i was like i swear this worked before oh keep my little so all i'm doing here i've Clicked on the three um, frames mm -hmm. that I'm wanting to animate. Um, I, if you keep your uh, what's a timeline thing, yeah, space time frames broken. <laughs> I'm going to make frames from clips. It mm -hmm. automatically creates frames, and actually, because I've done them backwards anyway, it's worked out nicely. This is what I was getting really frustrated about yesterday because I was having to like reposition all the frames um because i wouldn't normally do it like that um but you can see the hair moves like at the same time but you don't want it to be a frame each time because that's if you play it it's too quick <laughs> yeah um so if i'm i'm just gonna see if that's too long oh, oh you can't tell and you can just play a, play around with the timings a lot of the time. This is what I do and just see what looks best. Yeah. And then I'll do the same with these. I've gone for four frames for each one. Might still be too quick. It's a lot of, um, what's the word for it? Trial and error. Yes. Yeah, definitely. This bit always reminds me of, you know, when you're doodling in the corner of a workbook and then you're flicking through the pages and you see all of the frames. This is always the bit that when I see a timeline in Photoshop, I always think of that book. It's like a mental thing, you know? Yeah. Every time. Right. So, and I was like, mm -hmm. I was thinking what would be quite cool, actually. Sorry. So my brain's going off on one. Actually, some, if the wind suddenly comes in, mm -hmm. rather than... So I will leave the first frame on for a bit longer. And then... So, I like that. Yeah. I don't know why it's cut some of this off, but I can fix that. So I think I'm still going to make these a bit longer, which a bit longer is... Uh, actually in numbers so i had it at four frames and now it's six 
axe. And I'm using this to toggle between the, the sizing so I can, the number of frames that you can see in the timeline. Mm -hmm. um, there, so we know that needs to be there. Pull this one across because that's my first frame there. Pull these oh, out. Jackie in the chat says that it seems to take a day for her cloud docs to move to Photoshop. Yeah, that's what I'm just having a problem with. <laughs> Something, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know what the time delay is sometimes because sometimes yeah and then other times straight away yeah you're just like, i think i just came out of it so if you do that jackie i came out of the um document and it saves it properly i think on fresco ah, fresco that's a good tip i might do the same then oh. yeah all right i wondered whether it was a wi-fi thing going on with my house but no i think it's just sometimes it um does that. I'm going to duplicate the image. See, I'm using shortcuts from After Effects. <laughs> Silly me. Uh -oh. So I've duplicated the same frame so that mm -hmm. it then is going to copy itself. We'll go back. I say duplicate. Copied it. It's different words in here. Um, if you look at the hair then, it moves forwards and backwards, so it's like a, in a wind. A gust of wind. Exactly. Love it. Oh, it's so good to see it in motion. Yeah, it is good, isn't it? I love it. This is the fun bit where it actually comes to life. Mm. And what would you export this as then? Probably do this one as a GIF, but it depends. So if you want to upload it to Instagram, yeah, Instagram are a bit funny, and you can only do MP4s. Yeah, so you, or MOVs, I think. So you have to export it if you want to upload it as those. Um, this looks very messy. I wouldn't be this messy normally in one frame. Normally, <laughs> no, don't worry. We've got through so much though in an hour. Like we're seeing it animated, and this is great. And Sandrine says in the chat, because you're worth it with the hair flick. Very. Yeah. <laughs> Very. Right. So I'm going to pull my thing. So that's that done. I'm going to pull this across to the end. And this is going to be our work space that we're going to export. Although she's lost her, lost her hair. Oh, no. Yes. I think you need to go frame back. Would you need to drag out a hair frame for, for the whole duration just to make sure it stays on her head? Yeah. Well, so I think, I don't know if this does it in here, but sometimes in After Effects, you just have to jump a frame back um, and export mm -hmm. it. It, it. For this kind of thing, yeah. it doesn't matter. Obviously, if you're doing a proper animation, it does. Um, but I, I just pull back a frame and then I can export it like that. So I'm going to export. So if we want to export as a GIF, we go save for web. And I've already got it saved as a GIF. Um, but I think you just save it. And then I can save it wherever. Let's just save it in my desktop. Save. Just write that yeah. down, just so I don't forget, because I'm not there yet, but I, I'll okay. be later. And then if you want to export it as a MP4. Oh. No, that's not right. <laughs> oh. This hour has absolutely yeah. flown by. It honestly, and it's been lovely, Rachel, having, having a good catch up at the same time. And yeah. Uh, and doing this it's so good in fresco i think we should get everybody drawing in fresco especially on a monday yes exactly it's lovely look at this on the hour yeah i know it's so mad well, well, then, yeah, crash now but <laughs> oh, no well uh, the chat will continue in discord everybody um you know thank you for for joining us and um if you have been drawing along today and you're just waiting for those files to move and save to the cloud into photoshop continue you've seen the steps here um get that timeline view 
and um, you know have a play around and then share it it's so good to see everyone's work um and i think you know let's keep monday as like a a drawing day whether we do this through fresco or we're making things in spark it'll be um yeah it'll be lovely so um and you're exporting it now oh rachel here we go i think yeah we're, we're there i'm gonna i'll open this up here it isn't oh no it's done a funny thing to the back no, but that's fine too look at that oh look at that i love it absolutely it's there amazing oh I'm, I'm honestly giving you a massive round of applause from, yeah. from wales over here lovely yeah. <laughs> oh fabulous well thank you for joining everybody please finish your drawings and all of your designs on uh, Discord today. We've got some great streams planned for this week. So we'll see you next on Wednesday, same time. And I'm off to draw Welsh Dragons for St. David's Day. So uh, I will see you all soon. Thank you, Rachel. Bye, everybody. Right. Thanks for having me. Thank you.